This is Natalie with the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche, bringing you another video. Oh, it's Sunday, the house is quiet, I'm not on call. What a perfect time to make a video. I wanted to make sort of a spring themed video. And we'll also do the stuff we usually do. I'll show you what I'm working on, some finishes, some new acquisitions, and of course we're going to do some magazines. So let's begin. First, finishes. Oh, this is a nice one. This is Ann Morrison. And this is by Hands Across the Sea. And Ann Morrison is stitched on 45 count legacy linen called Russian Tea Cake. And uh, it's a versoie, which is a thin silk. Now, if you can stitch on 40 count, you can stitch on 45. It's not that bad. Of course, I use a magnifier. I use a magnifier with just about all my stitching. But I thought it came out so pretty. There is an error. Um, I'm a little off, right? Right down here, I'm a little off, but you can't really tell, and I didn't pull it out, and I think having an error is okay. It makes it your own, and, you know, the original cross-stitch, the cross-stitch patterns, the patterns and finishes, and the original samplers, that's what I was looking for, they are full of errors. They were made by humans, like you and me, and... They had tons of errors, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was very pleased with this. This was part of a stitch along, a limited edition, put out by Traditional Stitches. The name of the person that owns that store is Janice. I don't know her last name. But uh, you had to buy, you could buy the kit. And it was limited edition. I believe there are no more. So it's it's pretty much done. And this was to commemorate 25th, I think 20, maybe 20th anniversary of her store, maybe 10th, I don't know, something like that. Her store anniversary. Quite a few people on a Facebook group were stitching this, so it's done. It will be framed in the old what I call the old-fashioned style, like original samplers, very close. So this will be framed under glass very close, which is how a lot of the original ones are that you would buy. Okay, so that is one finish. Second finish was sort of a whimsical finish. This is called Beach Walk by Lindy Stitches. And the fabric is, I don't know the fabric, but the fabric is by, uh, fabrics by Stephanie. It's a purple fabric. I'll just show you the fabric. You can see it's got a purple hue to it. These are a combination of called for colors and other colors. The reason they are other colors is I needed to brighten up the feet. I needed to brighten up the flowers. I had to change things up a bit to look brighter on here. How am I going to finish this? Well, I bought this. Let me show you. I forgot to pull it out. Oh, let me show you. My, this is a, I got this at the cross stitch cover. This is a, this is Nadine and Glenn original lobster trap art. And uh, I got this at the cross stitch cover. I'm going to see if I can get one that will fit. This, I think for a C theme, this would look awesome in this frame. Obviously not this frame, it's the wrong size. So, and these are made from lobster traps. If you're interested in getting one of these frames, you can call the cross stitch cupboard, or I don't know if they sell to the public. Here's their address. So you can see it. So those are my two finishes. What am I working on? I am working on 
something by Gigi, the Biedemeyer Sampler, 1864, by Gigi R. I believe this photograph is the real sampler. It was done on a very light color. Now, I always thought Biedemeyer, they would call a Biedemeyer sampler just like a Smith sampler would be done by Smith. A Morrison sampler is done by Morrison. No, that's not it. Apparently, Biedermeyer is a style, a German style sampler. Um, I had to Google that <laughs> and look it up. Uh, this originally is done in DMC. It's only charted for DMC. And I did a, an overdyed conversion. If anybody's interested, I have it. I think the conversion is, is wonderful. But as you can see, it was only done in DMC. Uh, so I did an overdyed conversion. And the name of this fabric, it's 40 Count Vintage Flagstone by Lakeside Linens. It's going to be hard to find. I was lucky enough to get a whole half yard of this. So, and here's the colors. Aren't they pretty? Just beautiful colors. This is the bottom. I always start from the bottom. It's just easier for me to stitch that way. As you can see, that's the bottom. And the bottom looks like it's the hardest part. A lot of the others, other pieces are just letters. There are some other flowers, but they're smaller. And this is about, it's actually about two thirds done, this bottom. So, let me pull out the floss. Oh, and just to show you, this is one of my rings by Lucy Beam. Oh. <laughs> Let's get that better. See? Just like those floss rings. And here's, there's a combination of Weeks Dye Works, Gentle Arts, and of course Classic Color Works. I just pulled the DMC and then I pulled out, I just went from floss to floss and matched up what I thought looked proper and was closest. And we have a beautiful conversion. So if anybody wants to stitch this sampler, the Biedemeyer Stampler by GGR, it is available. You can purchase it at a number of different places. I, I don't remember where I got it. I might have gotten it at 123 Stitch. I don't, I, it's possible. But um, I do have a conversion for it from DMC if you want to do it in overdyed. I think overdyed floss has a richer feel to it. It, it to me, it, it gives it more depth. Um, just, you know, that's just my opinion. There's plenty of things that are done in DMC that are really pretty too, so. Okay. And in case you were wondering, this is a Deborah Harry bag. Isn't that cute? I got that because I love the squirrel in the tree. Now, if this was my, my yard, that squirrel, well, my husband probably would, uh, Get rid of that squirrel one way or another, because they eat my mangoes. <laughs> but I did like the squirrel in the tree. And this is an awfully pretty fabric, just a beautiful fabric. And the inside fabric, I don't know if you can see, it's got animals. What a lovely bag. And what I like about these bags is they sit, they sit. So they have a bottom to them. So they sit. To me, that, that's awesome. I like when they sit up instead of lay flat. So this is the bag I have for that. New acquisitions. Uh, thankfully, there's not much to show you. <laughs> so I'm on a no buying, no buying thing. Um, I will buy an occasional chart here and there. And I think I'm going to make it that if I buy a chart, I'll get rid of a chart. Then it's like, which chart do I get rid of? I don't know, but I'm trying not to buy anything. I have way too much to stitch. So let me just show you the Deborah Harry bags. These you can buy 
I mean, look at this beautiful made of old cruel. Just absolutely gorgeous. Somebody put all this work into it. And this is the fabric she chose to be with it. And I think it coordinates wonderfully. The inside fabric also beautiful. This one sits flat as well. And there are pockets in all of these. Just beautiful bags. I'm, I'm literally addicted to these bags. I love them so much. Hard to find now because she sells out. I bought one more bag just to show you. Another spring bag made of old needlework. This one's made of an old probably dresser scarf that somebody cross-stitched was probably a stamped. With once again beautiful coordinating fabric. The inside. Just beautiful. Oh, this is Deborah Harry's. She has an Etsy store. It is impossible to buy her bags because she, once they go up, they sell. <laughs> so I was lucky to get them. I have a bunch now. Uh, and finally, here is the new acquisition. The new acquisition are Dovo scissors, bought from the Silver Needle. I've used many, many, many scissors, and Dovo are consistently, well, they sent me also a, a chart, I don't even know, uh, consistently the best. So I bought uh, two pair. These were not a bad deal considering they both have uh, the, they both have the, uh, what would you call that, the scissor protector, I guess, with them. So it's getting harder and harder to find Dovo scissors. The price has gone up a little bit. Let me show you the ones I bought. This one is uh, one of their anniversary scissors. It's in gold. I thought it was so pretty. It's a little longer than I usually buy with a very pointy tip. I like a pointy tip. Isn't that pretty? Just so, so well made, so nice. Made in Germany. The second pair is in a pewter color. Nice, huh? Just beautiful. So I bought those. Not that I need them, but I don't know. They would make very nice gifts. And I know it's getting harder to find, so. And that's it for new acquisitions. Uh, just the bags and these. I'm not, I, I do have some charts I'm going to pick up, two of them, from the cross-stitch cover that were the that were this year's, uh, there was no market, but there was an online expo. So this year's market expo finds. So I have two beautiful ones I'll show you next time. But what I did pull out is a whole bunch of kitted projects here that I'm going to show you that are all spring themed. So this is a lot of fun to go through it. I'm also going to show you the fabric that I have for it. Some of these, I don't even remember some of these fabrics that I have in there. I know exactly what charts I have, but so I pulled out a whole bunch of them just to show you. I only have one really spring Easter, Easter thing. I have some finishes I'm going to show you too. I'll show you after. I only have one really springy chart. <laughs> That's it. When I say springy I mean um, you know yellow with uh, rat bunny rabbit you know traditional Easter Easter chart and that this is by the Cricut collection I bought this on eBay for very inexpensive I remember this uh, and uh, I bought it because of the fabric 
And this is by Cricut, the Cricut collection called Spring Patches. Isn't that cute? They're very nice, and I love the way they frame them. So, interestingly enough, let's see, the call for fabric, 30 count Hushabai Yellow from r and &R. Well, lo and behold, they came with 30 count Hushabai Yellow. <laughs> it came together, and literally was very inexpensive, and it came with this beautiful piece. Um, two pieces, excuse me, two pieces of this Hushabai yellow. These are really nice. Um, they're, here you go. They're not an obnoxious yellow at all. They're really a nice yellow. I don't even have this kitted up fully. Um, will I ever get to it? Maybe. I'm not sure, but I did buy it because of the, the fabric. Will I use the fabric for something else? It's possible. <laughs> so, let me go through what other, what I consider springy type stitching. This broke. This broke. Just to, the container broke. This is by Colonial uh, Designs and it's called Mimi's Tape Measure. So it's a kit to make a tape measure. But you see it's got a little, it's got two sides to it, but it's got a little rabbit. So anything with a little rabbit on it I consider spring. Isn't that cute? Uh, what's in here? Well, all the instructions are in here. The actual tape measure that you would, are going to cover is in here. Um, floss, fabric, it's really a cute little kit. And I love little kits like this for travel to go when you go somewhere. Very manageable thing to work on. You can bring a hoop. You're not bringing a whole big, oh, did I fix it? Yeah, that's it. I thought that was really broken, but apparently it just snapped together. Okay. Next, from Honeycomb and Threads, these are limited edition uh, kits. Uh, one is a pinwheel. Isn't that pretty? And the other one is a drum. Once again, from Honeycomb and Threads, these are limited edition kits. They probably are not available anymore. You may be able to get them from the secondary market, or sometimes contact the designer, they may have some. And let me give, show you her card. Honeycomb and Threads, that's her card. I believe she has a Facebook page, in fact, I know she does. What's lovely about these is the way they're packaged in the fabric. Look at the fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Just such pretty springy fabrics. The name of the designer is Kathy Tinelli. And these are from 2019. But I don't think you get more springy than that. Here's a spring sampler. I probably bought this as a kit. In fact, I'm sure this is from the Ex Ess Essex Institute, Salem, Massachusetts. It's a Massachusetts sampler, a very small sampler. Very cute. Very doable. Uh, it came with floss. Came with all this very pretty floss. Uh, I'm assuming this is DMC. I'm assuming. These are quite springy colors in my opinion. It came with a uh, natural colored linen, which if this is the picture, sorry, then that's the wrong linen. You need a much more tan linen. And this also came with uh, a palette. <laughs> it's just one of the little things came out of there. These little, 
and apparently the name of the sampler is Fanny Mott's from the museum collection. So this is a museum sampler, a Massachusetts museum sampler. It is small. I have this in my stash. I'm sure this is going to look really pretty stitched up. Now even though it's got that fabric in it that I think is wrong, you still could do it on natural fabric. It would look very pretty. Okay, That's another spring one. This is one I wanted to start this year. Uh, this is by Handwork Eliza Hills, 1858. A lot of people recognize the sampler as one that uh, the attic has shown very uh, multiple times because they did it on a fabric called Camo fudge. It was really, really pretty. Camo fudge is not made anymore. I, the company doesn't isn't. I don't think the company's in business. But it it's a it looks very much like this. I made my own camo fudge. Let me tell you, this is very close to all the photos I've seen. So it's a camo fudge. I made this fabric. So, I think, and here, here's DMC. I was going to call them and get the, and get the conversion, but I don't know. Now, you're looking at this like, are you kidding me? Trust me, go to the attic, go to the attic website. You probably can find this or even find this on a uh, YouTube video somewhere or somebody will show it to you. You can, you can find the picture of this done on camel fudge, which is this color basically, and it looks great. But I think I'm going to get their over dyed conversions. Isn't that a pretty sampler? It's beautiful, Eliza Hills. And uh, the finished piece is 11 by 13, stitch counts 152 by 160. It's not very big. I have this giant piece of this after I stitch it and show everybody. Um, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see if anybody's interested in purchasing the rest, or I just keep the rest. I love this color. My version of Camel Fudge. Unnamed. <laughs> Why do I think this is spring? It's just full of flowers. And it says, how merciful is God. And it's just flowers and springy colors. Here's another spring sampler. I bought this as a kit directly from Hands Across the Sea. Hands Across the Sea used to... They used to sell kits you know, where you buy it with the called for, uh, they don't anymore. She just doesn't, it, it's too hard to get fabric. So I did buy this from her as a kit. It came with all the, the silk and the called for fabric. And look how springy this is. You see all the colors? It's almost 4th of July, but just lots and lots of colors. I don't know if I'm ever going to do this one. To be honest with you, maybe it's time to start de-stashing a bit, but she sent this fabric with it. It is a humongous piece of fabric, and it is the called for, I'm not sure what it is. To me, this looks like Weeks. Weeks straw. In fact, I'm 99% sure. Let's see, does it say? No, it says this was... The model was stitched on 40 count Lakeside Linen Exemplar. Is this Exemplar? Is this Lakeside Exemplar? Oh, it must be. Okay, so it's Lakeside Exemplar. Excuse me. And I have a huge piece of it, half yard of it. So, that's, I don't know. This is only about a year ago I bought this. Maybe a little bit longer, a year and a half. Two years, I don't know. But this was a definitely limited kit. I suppose you need more than a quarter yard. That's why she gave this huge piece. But this was sent, and that looks like 36 count. This was sent 
together from England to me. Next, this one a lot of people have, have done. This one is called ne ne eh, Nest by Brenda Gervais. I gotta pull this out, and the reason is you won't be able to. It's a lot of. Very pretty. I've seen people do this. I do have all the floss. The floss is muted in color. I never put fabric with this, but I think you can do almost any neutral fabric. Very springy. A robin and nest and birds. Here's a kit by a Heartstring Samplery called Spring Flame Pin Cushion. It's a semi kit. This came with all the floss you need, and that is some bright floss. <laughs> all the floss, some pom pom for finishing. Oh, goodness gracious! Some pom pom for finishing, and the chart, and you can use just about anything for it. This is from Heart, Heartstring Samplery. That's very springy. Model was done on Picture This Plus Ale. That's quite nice, isn't it? So I've always liked this one. Okay. So that's that. I pulled this one from the Scarlet Letter. Uh, this is Rebecca Robinson. Rebecca Robinson, uh, this is a kit that came with silk and fabric, her own fabric, which I'm not sure what her own fabric is, but it's very, very pretty fabric. I love her fabric from the Scarlet Letter. And all this floss. Very pretty colors. And once again, this is Rebecca Robinson. It's beautiful. Springy with lots of flowers. A beautiful spring summer yard. This is on my list of stuff to do, hopefully start this year. Scarlet Letter recently had some very disturbing posts on her page. It's not her personal page, it's her business page about people stealing stealing her designs and there were two posts. One was about people buying designs on the secondary market and also some bootleg designs and then you know these some of these designs are missing pieces, missing instructions and then emailing her and she didn't like that and I I get it. I get it, uh, especially when all of her designs are available through her. That's all of her in-print designs. Now, with that said, she has some designs that are out of print, and they're only available on the secondary market. And like all art, if a design speaks to you, you're going to look for it on the secondary market. I certainly have. I have as one of my whips one of her, one of her designs, which has been out of print. So. And uh, I was lucky enough to get it, but it also was missing a piece, and I, I it was a, a use just missing a page. Somebody I got the page from someone, which was very nice, and um, somebody I, I know in the needlework world, and I you know I don't agree with her not wanting to help people that are missing a page because they bought let's say an out of print design on the secondary market. I do understand her not wanting to help people who bought a bootleg design and apparently out of Russia and China there are tons of them. Also she had issues of people ordering things from her claiming they didn't get it and filing claims with let's say credit cards or PayPal getting their money back when she was out 
a full kit, including let's let's say um, silks and everything, which is expensive. So I was very disturbed to see that. And she said a lot of those came out of Russia. So imagine now all of a sudden you say you can't sell to Russia, an entire population won't be able to get her stuff. Uh, anyway, the best way to prevent these issues is to buy directly from her. She sells these kits. I don't remember if I got this directly from her. I think I did, actually. I think I did. And it comes with her own, you know it's going to come with enough floss, the called for, um, and all the silks. And she also will sell it to you in DMC. And really beautiful fabric. It's a stiff fabric, like, you know, very stiff. It comes with a needle, too, just FYI. But it's a stiff fabric. Uh, all of them are. White shell permin fabric, I'm sure, because they're stiff. But I like stitching on stiff fabric. And if you don't like stiff fabric, um, which I think stiff is easier. It just is. You can you can actually, uh, I'm not going to say wash it. You don't want the color to come through. But dampen it a little bit and it, steam it and it won't be, it won't be stiff anymore. But anyway, that's such a pretty one. Rebecca Robinson. Just a, a beautiful, beautiful sampler. Okay. This is Painted Wings by Kathy Barrett. Isn't that beautiful? All those spring butterflies. Very, very pretty. I have all the called for needlepoint silks for this. And there aren't that many colors, just a handful. Just a handful. And the called for is Vintage Pear by Lakeside Linen. A beautiful, beautiful fabric. Lakeside Linen Vintage Pear. Very pretty. This is gonna look just stunning. Just stunning. Vintage pair is hard to find now. All the lakeside's hard to find. I'm glad I bought it when I did. So I say, wow, I really kitted this up. And this is a big piece. This is, it, well, it's a, it's a quarter yard. It's going to be enough plus. This is 40 count, so the I can use half of this and have half left. It's not big. The stitch count on this is... 173 by 182, so it's about 9 by 9 inches. Yeah, so. Very springy, beautiful. These are, uh, this is a kit I got, this is from last year's market by Samplers Not Forgotten. I love uh, these kits. This one's called Rose Bouquet. You can still find it. You can definitely still find it. Isn't that pretty? And it comes with everything to make that pillow, including this beautiful velvet. It's a complete kit. It's just beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's got a little bead or whatever. Isn't that pretty? You can still find these. Here's another one from another year. Uh, this is also Samplers Not Forgotten. This one is called Penzi Sauvage, and it is just beautiful. I've seen, I saw this done. I saw somebody did this. If I saw it in person. I don't remember where, but I did. And look at the fabric it comes with in that beautiful fabric. So sometimes I'll focus on the linen, and sometimes I'll focus on the fabric, and this fabric just makes it. And of course, it comes with everything you need. These are great gifts, and they're also great to take on a trip, take on an overnight trip, take on the plane even. Well, I always have trouble stitching on the plane. Here's one more of her kit I pulled out. They're all springy kits. This one is Bouquet 1813. Another spring kit. This almost, I, I almost didn't pull this one because it, it sort of has a fall vibe to it. On the other hand, those are definitely spring flowers. And once again, this comes with everything you need. That's pretty fabric. Pretty, pretty linen. 
linen, that is Weeks linen. Um, interestingly enough, does not look like this linen that this is done on. But it is the call for linen. This is Weeks tin roof, definitely Weeks tin roof, so go figure. When you actually do this, it's going to look darker, but that's okay. All right. This is a, I'm calling this a spring sampler because it's pink. <laughs> this is AR1879. This is another one I have on the back burner that I will do. Um, where do you see this? It's so beautiful. By Queenstown Sampler Designs. Isn't that a beautiful sampler? I know you're looking at it like what? All one color. It's gorgeous. I saw a video where they showed this sampler. A different sort of sampler. And I have all the... I have all the... The colors, there's not many colors on it. Not a lot of colors. And the fabric I have is Lakeside Chantilly Cream. I paid a lot for this. I have a half yard of it. No, actually I have, it's not. It's 18 by 55. This cut is the exact cut that you need for this sampler, to do this sampler. It's long and 18 by 55. That is big, but there's a lot of open space, so... I probably have to work this sampler on its side. There's no way I'm working a 55 inch piece of fabric this way. I'll work an 18 inch and then work it on its side. I've done that before. I don't know if you can see how pink this is, but it's pretty much the, exact, pretty much the same color as it's in the photo. Called for fabric, made just, this piece was cut just for this. This was an expensive piece of fabric for me to buy at the time because I had to search for it, but I have it. Beautiful. I think it's springy. I think it's springy. Almost Valentine's. It's got hearts in it. It's got red. But I think anything pink is spring. At least I'm trying to get the theme close. If you don't think it's spring, that's okay. And this is a sales receipt for my fabric. Okay, a few more. I have scattered seed samplers. These are the uh, these are by Tammy Black. These are in her Etsy club. So these are some club pieces. This one is from it's called Little Wren Handwork Series, and this is Seeds of Kindness. how pretty this is packaged. Just beautiful. And this one is Spring's Messenger Pin Keep. I love this. I love the bird. I love the, the eggs. I love the fabric. I didn't even open this. I don't want to disturb how pretty it looks. Just beautiful. Here's some more. These are uh, some older ones. This one is by Stacy Nash called Country Sampler Sewing Pouch. I think the colors are very much spring. The flowers. And look, there's a cow on there. That's one side. That's the other side. Isn't that beautiful? And it makes a sewing pouch. And uh, it's a kit. It comes with everything you need. Isn't that pretty? These colors, um, this looks darker. In the direction she usually puts to uh, dip your stuff in a tea or a coffee afterwards. So that's why it always looks lighter. But Stacey Nash, it's an old, older kit. This is a real old one. This is Sweet Thoughts of You uh, by Blackbird Designs. It is actually in a paper bag. <laughs> and uh, it, it's, it's got, let me open this so you can see. 
Um, I don't want to un... Well, I don't really want to open this. It's got everything you need. So you actually are going to stitch on a piece of, of board. And this is by Blackbird Designs. This has been out of print for a long time, but that's very springy. Okay. Pretty sure you can find this on the secondary market. It's very unusual. Very unusual. What is in here? Cut a piece of glass. Your local hardware store will usually cut glass for a small fee. Yeah, all right. Go to Home Depot. Got to go. I think you got to go to a glass place. And then stitch piece will be sandwiched between a piece of glass and a piece of cardboard. I guess you. Um, there's a whole. There's a whole bunch of uh, putting decorative paper. A whole bunch of finishing instructions. And finally, this is uh, called Frog Notes and Quotes. This is a little note notepad stitched notepad and it's got of course the plant and the flower it you're not going to believe what this comes with look at all this stuff it comes with fabric the actual notepad needle all beautifully packaged and this is called frog notes and quotes that's the name of the company by old colonial designs who knows you probably can get this on the secondary market if it is made I'm sure you could find that. That was fun, wasn't it? That's not all my stash, unfortunately. It's, like I said, I have too much stash. I'm going to have to start going through it and selling some of it. But, um, you know, do you really have too much if you enjoy it? No, I don't think so. I think if you enjoy, like, anything else, looking at it, like china, like teacups, whatever you might collect, it's okay. It's okay. Now I have the 2021 spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. I'm sure other floss tube people have shown it. I'm going to show this one and I'm also going to show the 2018 spring issue. Okay. This is a bargain. Let's see. This is $9.99. In 2018, it was $8.99. Like everything else, it's gone up in price. But $9.99 is a bargain. An absolute bargain for what you get. The paper is yummy paper. It is, it is thick, glossy, high quality. Um, the, uh, it's all labeled on the binding. So when you put it in a, a shelf, you can see what you, you've got. It's, got, it's just full of ideas and projects, beautifully photographed. It's a bargain, okay? It comes out to be literally cents for every project. So, highly recommend it. You can either get your own uh, subscription or buy it from a shop. Um, I had an issue last year where I did not get my Christmas issue. Uh, and. Uh, it was annoying because I had emailed them twice. They said it was sent and it never really was. It wasn't, and it wasn't just me, it was a whole bunch of people. I have not had that since, so I am going to continue getting this shipped to the house. Let's go through this yumminess. This is called Seasons of the Heart by the Blue Flower. Isn't that pretty? She has a whole bunch that look pretty close to this. And that was done on Cyrus, uh, Cypress Linen by Fiber on a Whim in DMC and Sullivan's. They have two different ones you can pick from. This is called Spring Home by Roveris, uh, done on Roveris Linen, her own linen, called Antique Square. Called for is DMC, and it has a Sullivan's uh, conversion. I've never used Sullivan's floss. I probably won't. Uh, it is made in China. It used to be made in the U.S. It was very nice to have a U.S. based company and if they ever start doing that again I will 100% buy them but they, they it's a little deceptive. You, you have to research it to find out that they no longer manufacture in the U.S. that they now have outsourced. I get it. 
I get the finances, but it's, I try to buy American, uh, DMC is French, I do think probably I, the, the quality is definitely there, and like I said, a lot of people like Sullivan, so, and I'm not going to badmouth the company anymore than I already have, sorry, uh, other than just know it is made in China, but, um, it you know from what I've seen and I've I've seen it at uh, I've never d worked in it myself but I've actually seen it in in person I don't know where I was a shop I visited it wasn't the cross stitch cupboard it looked like high quality floss so I think it is probably still high quality floss it's just not made here anyway um, this is by the house stitching with the house wives. Well, Buffalo plaid spring as usual. It's a pretty finish They just do this in 28 count black even weave. That's I think their favorite fabric and They have done it with classic color works. So it has a DMC and Sullivan's conversion I'm sorry. I didn't mean to badmouth Sullivan's. That's not a nice thing to do um, I just think people should know what they're buying. That's all uh, this is for, this is called Sampling of Spring by uh, Leela May Designs. Pretty. Okay. And what is the call for on this? The call for, it's got little carrots, which I thought were cute, is Parchment, 32 count Parchment by, who makes Parchment? Weep Style Works, I believe. Uh, and done in classic color works and DMC, a combination. There was a Sullivan's partial conversion. I don't know why they didn't convert it all, but partial. This is called Springtime Cottontail by Teresa Kogut, and it's done on Legacy Linen by Picture This Plus. Isn't that pretty? And I love the way they finished it. I love this. So pretty. And she put some directions about making your frame to look like that. Uh, it is done in weeks weeks in DMC. There is a full Sullivan's conversion there. Um, a lot of ads now, just to let you know. Quite a few ads in here. The ads are nice to look at, too. Um... Tons of ads, which is nice. There's an entire project by uh, Vanna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher in here. A very elaborate, step-by-step -step project. I think it's on six, seven pages. I'm not going to show it to you. If you want to see it, buy the magazine. <laughs> this is Rebecca Noland of Lucy Beam. This is Olive Harrogate. I believe this is a reproduction sampler. Okay, this is stitched in Gentle Arts, and there is a DMC and Sullivan's conversion. The fabric is 36 count week style works beige. Sullivan must sponsor the magazine somehow. This is Spring Bunny Pin Keep by Sub Rosa, and it's done on Vintage Country Mocha by Zweigart and in week style works. And I like, I really like this. I like everything about it. Just a pretty little design. Vintage Country Mocha is a very readily, readily available linen. You can find it just about anywhere now. And it looks good. You could make your own. This is Red House Sampler by Teresa Miller. Teresa's Primitive Treasures, by the way, uh, I, I do buy some of her uh, finishing materials, their boards and things, and she makes custom, custom sizes for you, so just contact her. And this is called uh, Red House Sampler. It's done on, again, <laughs> Vintage Country Mocha in Weeks Dye Works with a DMC and Sullivan's conversion. It's a very pretty little... Very pretty little sampler. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Red houses seem to be in.
This is Prancing with Tulips by Lindy Stitches, done on flax linen. Flax, I believe, is Zweigart. Flax linen, and in a combination of weeks and DMC, and there's a full Sullivan's conversion. Isn't that cute? It's a very springy design, very cute. Don't worry, we're almost done here. <laughs> this is by Twin Peaks Primitives um, out of the Netherlands. This is Even Busy Bees. The fabric is done on Ada. It's done on Zweigart Misty Gray in DMC with a Sullivan's conversion. So that is all done on Zweigart Ada. Misty Gray Ada. Looks beautiful. Nothing wrong with stitching on Ada. Nothing wrong with it. Look how pretty your results are. And uh, finally, this is Easter Hair, Hair by Barbara Anna. Isn't that pretty? Barbara Anna has a very distinct style, very pretty. Beautiful flowers, unusual looking rabbit. Done on Dirty Belfast by Zweigart. Now I'm going to show you one more from 2018. Just to show you the difference, um, like I said, the spine is printed now, it wasn't back then. So that's a change. I think it's thicker. For a dollar more, you're now getting more magazine. Still great paper. Do I have, does it look like something is falling apart here? Yeah, it does. But I'm sure that's my fault from folding it back. So, let's see. This is Beehive, once again, by Teresa Miller. It's called Beehive. Talk about prim, that is really prim. And it is done on Oats and Honey Linen by Dixie Samplar. Uh, you won't see a lot of stuff done by Dixie Samplar on Dixie Samplar Linens because they're too hard to find. Uh, she doesn't make large quantities. She sells small quantities at a time. You have to watch her website, her Facebook page where she sells it. I don't know where else she sells it, but uh, you have to really look for it. So you won't see much on it, but it is beautiful. I have a few pieces, but this was done on Dixie Sampler Linen, Oats and Honey. It was a paper uh, in Gentle Arts, and they have a DMC conversion. In this magazine from three years ago, there's no, there's no conversion of, um, excuse me, there's no, there's no Sullivan's conversion. So Sullivan's is a relatively new thing here. Let's see what else we got. This is Spring Tin by Thistles, done on prim gray linen, the prim gray from Dames of the Needle. Dames of the Needle linen, very pretty. Uh, you can buy a lot of it from her Etsy store and maybe some other places carry it. I think uh, Teresa at kittenstitcher.com also has it. That's a little tin. This is done in a little tin. This is all done in Gentle Arts. There's a DMC conversion and the tin. They're just calling it a five inch round decorative tin. You can probably get that on Amazon, a little tart tin. So Thistles is not in, I haven't seen them in a while in the new, the new one, but no, I think I saw them over Christmas, so let me take that back. This is Frida by Barbara Anna. Done on uh, white chelt, white kelt, white chelt, excuse me, country French golden needle linen. You can buy that. And this was done in DMC. This was popular. I saw a bunch of people stitching this. Miss Rita. Um, for whatever reason, it was very popular. It is such an interesting design. I, I think it's here. <laughs> I think it's great. I love the yellow dress. 
She had eyebrows that went together, which is kind of cool. So, Frida. This is... There's a whole thing on Stitchville USA. I didn't go into... Uh, there's probably... Let's see, what was in this one? They usually highlight a... Uh, did they not do it in this one? They usually highlight a uh, shop in here. They have the creative twist in here. Maybe they didn't in here. Yeah, they didn't highlight, they didn't do that. Well, this is a whole thing on Stitchville with some photographs of Stitchville USA. Beautiful photographs. Um, this is Teresa Kogut's Welcome Spring. Uh, not that far off from what she has this year. Done on 35 count corn silk. Corn Silk is by Legacy Linen, and it's done in Weeks Dye Works Threads and a DMC conversion. I have seen a number of people do this one as well. This was very popular. A lot of people stitched it. Easy to stitch, small. What I mean by doable, meaning you can finish it. You're not going to get uh, bored <laughs> doing a big sampler. Um... Hmm, what is cut out of here? This is weird. Did somebody cut my magazine? Oh my goodness, something is cut out of here. Oh, I'm not going here. <laughs> something is cut out. Heavens to Betsy, something's cut out of my magazine. That's okay. Uh, this is by Robin Lockhoff, Hornshaw Sampler and Necklace, done on Exemplar Linen. Exemplar Linen, this does not look like Exemplar, it's just maybe the photography and DMC. Exemplar being Lakeside Linen. The designers try to make projects that the, uh, that the call for linen is readily available. Right now, Lakeside Linen has is, is been hard to get. They still will have pro new projects on Lakeside Linen, but I've noticed that uh, they're, you know, some of the linens are they're looking at weak Styleworks linen, which is also a beautiful linen. Um, legacy linens, Weigart linens, just to make it so that people can find the linen <laughs> instead of saying, wow, I can't, you know, Exemplar right now is hard to find. But pretty, huh? Just a little mini sampler. And I think that's it. I don't know what got cut out of this. That's so weird. But anyway, this was a thinner magazine. As you can see, it's growing as more designers want to be a part of it. We just did a lot of stuff. I hope this is under an hour. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out as soon as I, uh, I try to upload it. Have a wonderful week. Uh, once again, you can find me on Facebook, Natalie Willis in West Palm Beach, Florida. And uh, the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche group is the easiest way of finding me. I am the uh, admin of that group. I also have some moderators and uh, that are available. You can always reach somebody. It's pretty easy. You join the group and you look and you see who the admin are and the moderators are and voila, you've reached us. So I want everybody to have a wonderful week. Times are challenging now to say the least just remember we are not in control and god has this that's my final note today so have a great week and keep stitching no we're not done <laughs> we're not done hold on i didn't show you the finishes <laughs> let me show you these finishes isn't that pretty by Cottage Garden Samplings. This is love. Now is this a Valentine's piece or spring piece? It's got a lot of pinks and reds in it. This linen is by E Designs, so you can't find it, but I love this linen. It's got a green, greenish hue to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful linen. These are all the called for colors. I love it. 
I don't know, this is any season because, you know, these are traditionally um, winter birds. But then you've got love, which is February. And then you've got the flowers, which is April, May. Beautiful. Framed at the cross stitch cover. And then this is an oldie but a goodie. I don't remember the name of this pattern, but it's a Shakespeare saying, and it says, in emerald tufts, flowers purple, blue, and white, like sapphire pearl and rich embroidery. It's from Shakespeare. And uh, this is by a designer called La Broderie, which no longer is in business, but you can still find these. This is done on, I don't know, just some neutral linen with silk and little and a lot of beads. Just a tiny little sampler. But it's a Shakespeare quote and it's all spring flowers, springy, another spring design. Oh, I'm including this. Big flowers to me equal spring even though this is sort of can be multiple seasons. This is Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. Uh, this sample, I, this, not a sampler, this design, and I forgot the name of it, but this design is by La Dida. This is 18th century rook by uh, r, r Reproductions, and these are the called for silks. This is one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. Look at the, the flowers are stunning. Just love it. As you can tell, I did this in, oh, 2018. Like I said, I don't really have any pieces that are, that are uh, bunny-like. I just haven't done them. Uh, and this is Flea Market. It's called Flea Market by, by Blackbird Designs. And these are actually the called for, oh no, I've got a thread, that's okay. These are the called for, that is going to drive me crazy, I'm going to have to cut it. I'm just going to cut it. These are the called for linens by r, r Reproduction, how do I know? This came in a kit. This came in one of the original kits, I was lucky enough to buy it, and I uh, subsequently sold the design, sold sold the design and now it's back in print. It was out of print when I actually did this. Did I put a date on here? I don't think. I did this a few years ago. But these are all sewn together. This is really beautifully. I love this frame. But this is by Blackbird Designs called Flea Market. Three different I love how they put that along the seam, those, those sort of uh, embroidered flowers. Blackbird Designs, um, I really, I, I've done a few of their pieces and they're consistently beautiful. Um, there are people who are fanatical about it, I know, but I love it. And finally, the final thing, uh, the final piece I consider spring is Louisa Snow. Can I get it off my ceiling? <laughs> yes, I got it off my ceiling. I thought it would come easier. Louisa Snow, this goes back to Mayflower days, actually, 1700 sampler. I know it's got a, I'm sorry about that. I know it's got a glare. Oh, I wish I can get rid of the glare. But I did this fabric. This fabric is done by me, is dyed by me. Um, as you can see, I, sewed it over and it's over mounted under glass. This is all called for, I think it's silk, called for silk. And uh, Little House Needleworks is who uh, has done Louisa Snow. Louisa Snow, interestingly enough, is an ancestor of my sister-in-law who uh, traces back to the Mayflower. But you can't get spring more springy than that. Look at all the greenery and the beautiful, the beautiful fabric and the beautiful flowers. This is one of my favorite samplers, if not my favorite sampler. Have a great week, guys. See, it wasn't really done. <laughs>